What is a grapple accumulator and how are they used? And how is a grapple accumulator different than an accumulation and grabber system? Well, if you've ever wanna improve on your process of producing small square bales, this is gonna be worth checking out. So the unit that we're gonna be reviewing today in this video is the Maxillator Accumo Grapple, which is an all-in-one unit that both collects the hay and picks it up. Now this has confused a lot of people because a lot of people don't realize that there are systems that do it separately and there are systems that do it all together. So today we're gonna to be discussing a couple different things. You're gonna to wanna to take it in consideration if you're trying to go low budget and just go with a grapple accumulation system. Some things you're gonna to wanna to know first, some things to think about, and at the end of the day, the decision is yours. So this right here is the 10 bale maxillator accumo grapple system. This uses a series of hydraulics. Two hydraulic lines control the one hydraulic ram that will latch and unlatch the hooks into the bale. Now this unit has 24 hook. With most systems, you can go ahead and add more on. They're just bracketed on, so you can slide them back and forth as needed or just add more on. Uh, another feature of the Maxillator is removable ends. We have this one's removable, the center one is removable, and the far end one is also removable. Price point wise, you can purchase this unit brand new for just under $5,000 making it very economical. Now, if you wanted to say purchase an accumulation plus a grapple system, you're looking at upwards of $15,000. 5,000 for the grapple and about 10 or more for your accumulator. Now the max leader is designed to slide the bales along the ground. When you need to travel longer distances, you simply latch the hooks pick up the whole unit and drive off to your next set of bales where you then drop the unit, unlatch it, and then slide more bales in. All right, so let's take a look at the specs on the Maxillator Accumulator real quick here. We see on the brochure here, it says that the length is 83 and the width is 88. Now it also says a recommended bale consistency of 39 inches long by 14 inches tall by 18 inches wide, which is what they consider to be a typical grass hay. So let's look at the factor right here, 39 inches long. Now, how big of a machine do we want if we are producing 39 inch bales? So we had 39 plus 39, that equals 78. Oh, wait a minute, 78? That doesn't even include the last bale, which is 18 inches wide. Because remember, it flips in the front. So 39 plus 39 plus 18, that gives us 96. This unit is only 83 inches long. And we need a unit that's 96 inches long. So that means our bale is going to be sticking out 13 inches off the end. Actually, our two bales. Even if you pack it in there really solidly, as tight as you can get it, they're still facing a good chance of falling off the back end. See, the bales are sagging over there on the end. If he didn't even hook it. Oh. Yep. Fortunately, he doesn't have to go very high. Ugh, ugh, ugh. So, now when you load it up, um, you take it off in the reverse order. So that means, as you can see right here, that when you take it off the reverse ways, now the ends of the bales are sticking out a good 12 inches, which causes them to curl over, flop over, etc. Oh. 
Now it's interesting here to also note that this unit is 88 inches wide. I find that interesting considering the fact that uh, we have four bales going crosswise, so that's 18 plus 18 plus 18 plus 18, plus 18 inches wide. That gives us 72 inches. Why do we have all this extra space to give us 88 inches? That just, that doesn't make any sense either. I'm not quite sure what their reasoning is on these dimensions. So let's go ahead and look at a similar grappler accumulator system. Uh, it's actually just known as a grapple. And we're gonna look at the Kuhn grapple. Kuhn is probably a little bit better known. You guys are more familiar with their accumulator. Uh, but let's just look at the grapple for right now. So we're gonna look at uh, apples to apples and we're looking at their 10 flat bale grapple system. The bales go in exactly the same way with uh, the two bales at the very end going in crosswise. So the specs in this unit are actually 90 inches long by 72 inches wide. Interesting, because uh, we already figured out that 72 is our magic number for width. So they hit the nail on the head on the width. Now their length is 90. So if our total needed length is 96, that means our bales are gonna be sticking out six inches instead of 13. But it also means that if you pack them in tighter, you could probably get it down to maybe three inches sticking out the end, which isn't the end of the world. So the question here is, why did Maxillator pick their dimensions that they picked? Obviously, it is not working. The dimensions for a 39 inch bale, which is what they recommend, just do not work. So now let's look and see what happens when we change the dimensions and put it into a 36 inch bale instead of a 39 inch bale. Will it fit? on paper at least. All right, so looking at our measurements, 36 plus 36 plus 18, that gives us 90. We are only sticking out two extra inches beyond the maxillator. Now, price-wise, I didn't see a price listed directly on the Coons website for that unit. I'm sure you could probably find a dealer and inquire, um, but I did find something else that's similar to the Coon, um, sold by Spartan Equipment, and it seemed to be a no-name uh, grapple system and that one was selling for four thousand seven hundred dollars give or take uh, the dimensions are slightly different being 93 inches long uh, so a little bit longer and 90 inches wide so it's much wider I'm not quite sure why it's so wide but the length is what we're struggling with right now anyway so this is exactly 10 inches longer than the max later so that would at least help your end bale tremendously. And the price point is really on par with the Maxillator anyway. Now we had first come across this product at a couple of tractor trade shows and Eric thought it seemed like a really great way to go. Since we have a smaller farm, we're doing 20 acres, it's hard to find help out here in Michigan. And especially with rain on the way, sometimes you just can't wait for help to arrive. So having an all-in-one system really seemed like the key for our farm. Now, one thing to note, first off is the attachment system. This unit does not come with any way to attach it onto your tractor, but rather it's made specifically for a skid steer. Now you can go through and buy the tractor attachment parts for another $500. I haven't seen them. I've heard stories that sometimes they're not very well made but that's pretty much the situation that you're in. The other thing you have to think about, the extra hydraulic line also means that your tractor needs a third function on the hydraulic line in the front. Most tractors just have the two hydraulic lines, one to control the bucket, tipping it forward and backwards, and the other to raise and lower the loader. Hydraulic lines will run you a couple grand to have it professionally installed from the back going up to the front of your tractor. You can buy the lines and install them yourself, but you still have to do it. So that's one thing to figure out if that's worth the cost for you. The other issue that we faced was a learning curve. Eric 
Eric was really excited to get to work putting this thing to use. He had watched video after video. I honestly think that our biggest downfall was that I had started bailing well before Eric was able to hit the field. So that meant that by the time he realized he needed the bales to be a little bit different, I was already pretty much done with hay. <laughs> So if you're looking at getting this system, go right behind your person bailing. Just let a couple bales pop out and start scooping them up. For us, we realized that being able to grab a stack of bales and put them on a wagon allowed our customers to quickly and easily be loaded up and we could tell them at a moment's notice exactly how many bales their trailer could hold based on the dimension. advantage is that the grappler allowed us to really stack tall and stack it tight without having to worry about bales falling over. Because the system allows you to rotate back and forth which direction your bales are going, the bales are able to stack in a bit of a locking pattern. Now there are many types of hay, gravel, and accumulation systems. If you guys have a favorite of your own, put it in the comments down below and we'll definitely check it out. Now if you happen to have a baler that makes slightly crooked bales or banana shaped bales as they're known to be called out here, an accumulation system is not necessarily going to be the best bet for you. You want to make sure your baler can produce consistent bales, both in length and in shape. Shortening the bales to what should fit could potentially help. Unfortunately, we were never able to get our baler to cooperate by that time, and we had to send the bobcat back from the place we rented it. Would I like a grapple system over a grapple accumulator system? I do think a grapple accumulator system would be faster. It would also cut down on fuel because you wouldn't have to be driving around quite as much collecting and chasing down bales. But the price point is really tough to swallow, especially when you're a smaller, newer hay operation. And you'd kind of rather spend that extra $10,000 on a nice trailer for your hay than an accumulator, if you get my draft. So overall, I would have to say for under $5,000, it's a pretty good buy. Once you get the kinks worked out and you figure out what size bale you need, it could be a lifesaver if you're short on manpower. And if push came to shove, you could still use whatever hay system you're currently using, dump the bales at the barn, set them out in an arrangement, and then use your grapple to grab those bales and then stack them nicely. So there is still a place for it, even if it's not accumulating bales on the field, you can still put it to good use stacking a nice tight stack in your barn. So I hope you guys learned a little bit from this grapple accumulator review. Maybe it's given you some things to think about. Regardless, I hope you guys all have an amazing day. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. The next video coming up is going to be hay making start to finish time lapse from cutting the hay all the way up to stacking the hay. So that's gonna be pretty sweet to see everything in one shot start to finish. And of course, all the rest of the projects going on here at our small family farm in Michigan. So definitely hit the subscribe button and the bell. Look forward to seeing you guys next time. Take care. Love you. Bye.